Hi, this module is on website header information. Extracting your website's header information one and the web server information, which is really important. What kind of server information we can extract? One is the website type, whether it's an Apache server, what kind of a server it is. That's one thing. And what kind of language they implemented or installed in that particular web server. That's second thing. Third thing, what is the technology used? Technology in the sense of Drupal, Zoomla, we got a lot of technologies, right? PHP and everything. So what kind of technology? And finally, what kind of website is written? It's a text format, HTML or what else? So that's one thing. And finally, I'm going to talk about what kind of character set. So the basic version is Unicode text format. That's the basic version which is acceptable by the HTTP protocol in a website. To create a website, we need that particular standard. So let me check it out and grab those information, yeah, web server related information via some kind of hijacking code. So this module will probably do the same. Let's start coding it. Find website details by website sniffing through HTTP response from the web server. So as I told in my previous video, a browser is sending a request and there is a response coming and I'm trying to grab the response information. So it is divided into multiple parts. This is called response headers. It will tell you like what is the protocol and whether the status of the server is okay or not. And entity headers will have the character set, what kind of uh, uh, responses you are getting. It's a HTML response. This information is entity headers and these are all called as general headers. It will have the date, what is the alive period, modified, what is the server and we got a lot of other information available. So this is the one I am trying to extract for a website. Let's move on to the session. So here is the form, the website sniffing, right click properties and as usual I made a center screen and I will make my background image which one you prefer. Let's have uh, this one is good. Like I'll go with this one itself. I click OK. I got this one. So right click properties uh, and uh, over here I got my form border style none and uh, you need the labels and everything. Right? Let's take it from the previous module. One, two, sorry, one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right leg. Right leg. I couldn't copy it. So it looks like there is an issue. It's not permitting. Right leg. Copy. I'll paste it here. Good. So I paste it. So this page is on website sniffing. So fetch website information through HTTP responses. Okay, so I'll have this form. So I'll select it, place it here. Now let's take the uh, another control, rich text box. Grab it, put it here. I write this exit code. This dot close. Now uh, I got the rich text box here. So right click properties, uh, I'll make it as uh, the border style none. Okay, so I got the label here. So fish entire HTTP responses.
Okay. Now I'll try to fetch it here. So fetch HTTP responses. HTTP responses. On clicking it, I'm trying to grab the response here. So I'll copy this piece of code in my previous module find protocol in the server. Okay, this is a module. So I'll try to get the first three lines. Not first three lines, I can get the four lines also. So URI history web request and web response. I'll copy it, paste it here. So I need to add uh, the namespace using system dot net. I got a web request and a web response. No. So here is the one I'm trying to do it. What is the rich Xbox name? So it's a rich Xbox one. Rich. Rich Xbox one dot X is equal to my response dot headers dot to string looks good so let me check it out I'll copy this class name I'll go to my program dot cs put it here so build it to make it as a first page so it's trying to build it it succeeded What happened? So I couldn't get the website sniffing. Look good. Fetch HTTP responses. Wow. So I got the information. So it's uh, we got some data. It indicates it's from Drupal. The website is created with the Drupal. The connection is closed. And uh, what is the date? When is going to expire? And uh, the server is Apache. It got some. Like our irrelevant information, but still we got some meaningful information like what is the server and uh, what is the technology used and what is the unique text format used and when is the when it's created. No, it's today's date. It's trying to fetch the data in today's day and what is the content type and everything. So further digging, I want to capture some more information in a detailed manner. I'll take my text box one dot text is equal to what is the destination server the destination remote server is my response dot server so run it the session server is apache 6.6.6 .6 as a version that's good so Destination server is and what is the character search? Servers character search is what? So text box two or text is equal to the destination
रिमोट्स सर्वर कैरेक्टर सेट इज माय रिस्पांस डॉट कैरेक्टर सेट्स सो लेट मी बिल्ड इट लेट मी रन इट it's uh, yes unique code this is nothing but unique code text format that's utf and it's 8 bits so this is the one it's trying to fetch it so from the the, the destination server got this one um that's good now uh, is there anything i want to check it out I'm trying to find the main type, whether it's a text or something like that. So let me check it out. So it's already there. I'm able to fetch it, but still, uh, I can write a small piece of code to further dig into the website to get some more information. So I select this one, copy it, and paste it. Okay. So now I'm going to fetch it like uh, the content type of the server. Servers content type text box four, and finally the status code. Servers status code. these two things a text box 5 uh, 4 and 3 oh sorry I'll replace it here this one is text box 3 and this one is text box 4 the third so these two things i need to fill it text box 3 so i'm trying to fetch the content type uh, string content type uh, my response uh, dot content type so i'm trying to fetch uh, string main file or html main page type is equal to Content type dot substring of hacking library dot. So we need to create an object for this. Hacking library dot. Hacking is equal to hacking library is equal to new hacking library. I'll take this one, put it here dot. bytes this library will provide you content type dot index of hacking library dot response http response okay this will provide you the main page type what is the type so the output can be type it's a text and it's a it's a html page okay so if for the trying to find it string dot compare of main type main page type comma the response text hacking library dot http response text is equal to 0 if it is the same then i put it as text box 3 dot text is equal to 
content type is a text format else content type is not a text format and it can be any other formats like image okay so we found the content type and this is the final piece of code i'm going to write to text box 4 dot text is equal to my response dot status core dot to string that's it so this is the one i've written okay so build it run it so on clicking this one the content type is a text format yes this condition satisfy and uh, the status is ok the status is ok indicates the status is 200 so i can write like this uh, if my response dot status code is equal to ok give it as string val is equal to 200 this one is an integer int val is equal to 200 and the status code of the whips response is val dot two string we can write like this also start it click it here it's 200 so if it is 200 it's okay status that's it this module is ready to go so let me repeat like uh, the con I, I got the response i took the content type and i'm checking the content type from zero and uh, checking the main content type main page type if the main page type is kind of a text or something like that uh, so i'm checking its main data type as text comparing with the http response text both are same this one is text and this one is text equal to zero i'm comparing and if it is same the content type is a text format so this is the final code i've written if it is not called not like the same automatically this will give not equal to zero and obviously this will be printer so this is how we are able to do it now this is now well, let's move on to the final module which is going to be real interesting and a bit more complex project module so i'm going to create a right click add windows form so check for vulnerability r open ports in the web server so this is a module so i'm trying to check what are the vulnerability ports available which is really open so that the user can enter into the web server so this is the next model we are going to discuss